We are kicking off our show today with actress Jennifer Grey. <laughs> Jennifer says we are about to see her like never before. In fact, in her own words, Jennifer says she is taking on one of the most demanding roles of her career, transforming herself, gave me goosebumps too, transforming herself into the controversial Christian diet leader, Gwen Shamblin, in Gwen Shamblin Starving for Salvation. My goodness, that's transformation. If you don't know the story, it is riveting. The real life Gwen Shamblin claimed to be a prophet and actually encouraged her followers to quote, pray yourself thin. Gwen gained fame and fortune preaching that being overweight was against God's will. And she founded this diet method. It's called the Way Down Workshop, which encouraged people to fill themselves, she said, with God instead of food. But by 1998, Gwen's workshops were in every state somewhere around 250,000 people participating worldwide. Take a look. I've always had what I would call a crush on God. I love the scale and the scale loves me. Your stomach doesn't need food. It needs God. What is your title in the church? They call me Gwen. Y'all here to maybe lose some weight? What is going on with you? We'll follow you wherever you lead us. I give you the prophetess! Amen. The remnant nation requires sacrifice. The higher the hair, closer to God. Fam, fam, please welcome friend of the show, actor, best-selling author, the one and only Jennifer Gray! That's round. Man. That's full on. It's I, I full wasn't on. ready for the transformation, the role. You did this, ma'am. <laughs> it is such a, it's obviously you're a great actress, <laughs> but transforming into such a controversial person. We've never seen you take on a role like this one. I've never seen me take yeah, on a role like seen. this one. <laughs> I never thought I could do it. You didn't think, I mean, so are you <laughs> familiar with Gwen Shamblin and her story at the yeah. time? Because it was huge headlines at the mm -hmm. time. Um, she died, was in 2021 in yeah. a plane crash with her husband and other people. But Spoiler alert. Up, that was, <laughs> but leading up to her untimely death, she created this revolution. Yes, she did. Built on, some would say, a lot of people's pain. And, and insecurity and uh, savings, yeah, and children's lives. Not to get too heavy, but that is what happened. And people were very eager to follow her wherever she led. When you started to read about her, I mean, first of all, when you got the script yeah. and you start digging into mm. this person, this is a fictionalized account of her mm -hmm. life. But there Back was this back. HBO docu series. The Way Down, which was based on investigations and testimonies. Really well done. W really well done. Mm -hmm. That dug deep into her appeal. First of all, when you're reading this, was she charismatic? What was it about her that got people to refer to her as a prophetess? She was a prophet, she said. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, you know, you've heard that expression that power corrupts. Yeah. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah. Well, this woman... I believe, I mean, I choose to believe since I didn't know her, mm -hmm. I have to make up certain things based on a lot of research. It's a lot of material, a lot. You can't get to the bottom of the material that's available about this woman because she basically filmed her whole life for 20 years. I mean, she's a lot 
of a uh, lot of material. Well, there's a lot of material, and you know, I, I mentioned this method that she practiced. Mm -hmm. um, it's still active and alive. Correct. So here you are portraying this controversial person, mm -hmm. and there are many people, and some probably watching right now, mm -hmm. who are actively following this method. And, and people who have left the church. Yeah, they've been both. Right. Yes, and the fact is, is that I believe she really prayed on the vulnerabilities of the human, that very human thing of I'm not enough. Yeah. I need to be better than I am. There is a scene that's depicted in, in the movie. Um, it's based on a real life incident. One of the tragedies associated with Gwen's church. Mm -hmm. They were investigated in the death of a parishioner's eight year old son, Joseph Smith. Investigators say they found no link between the child's death and the church. But here's that moment played out. What do they call you? They call me Gwen. Okay. Regarding the matter at hand, have you ever instructed your parishioners in how they should discipline their children? No. No. More specifically, did you ever instruct any of your parishioners to beat their children with glue sticks? Never. If I were to tell you that we have recordings of you saying precisely that, would you want to change your answer? I would question the integrity of any such recording. What was that like? I'm watching that and it's making me feel sick to my stomach. And when I was shooting the scene where I was introduced to the little boy and his parents, new to the, to the fellowship, and I'm, you know, welcoming them with so much warmth. And I'm looking at this little actor, this little boy, and I literally almost couldn't do the scene. It made me feel so ill. Even though he was an actor, and even though I'm an actress, and even though I, I just can't even believe this can happen in the world, that there's this kind of darkness and this kind of, uh, I, I just, I almost couldn't watch that scene just now. Yeah. It made me feel sick because this woman, did not go to jail, and the parents of that little boy are doing 30 years. In the film, you dig into these relationships, right? Because when I was watching, your <clears throat> performance is so brilliant. You're like, what motivates this woman? Who was there to stop her? And, and she combined this weight and guilt and control. We have another clip with her interaction with her own husband. Take a look. I love the scale, and the scale loves me. You're a turn, baby. I don't have to weigh myself, honey. Sure you do. We all have to keep track, honey. I don't. Are you still upset about the show? Yeah, I am. Mm. They're all the same, every single one of them. These creative people in the world are making all the damn decisions. It's just not right. Can't you just step on the scale just for me? Honey, do I look like I need to weigh myself? Well, it would just be something you would do for me. Babe, I weigh what I weigh. Mm. So, she tried to manipulate everyone in her world. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. And she is, she is obsessed. That's why this is such a, a compelling story.